Fall goes softly this year. Each one is different and there are degrees. Some are spectacular where every leaf seems to dress its best for a glorious display. Others are more like an afterthought where some plants participate but some don't. This year is the latter. Leaves wore their sweats rather than gowns. They turned a tired yellow and then simply dried and dropped early to welcome November with a shrug. Road riders were disappointed. But for all who crossed the fences and looked, treasures could still be found. You could see it in the brown falling leaves whose spiraling journeys told in a moment the tale of this growing season. You could see it in flowing waters where buoyant galleons flowed downstream through abstract colors to assemble in autumn ports. You could see it in featherweight grass heads carried aloft on spinning columns to shed their seedy cargo. You could see it on dewy mornings where spent insects hoped for one more day of warmth and life. You could see it in hidden bursts of color, unexpected and dramatic, hidden by their larger surroundings. You could see it in birds, busy feeding on berries or preparing for long migration flights ahead. And you could see it in ragged clouds, storm fronts, bringing cold air to rake the changing landscape. You could find and feel and smell it, modest as it was. And you could live it, another precious season that, for me, marks the timeless essence of life and sleep. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.